what, the worst part is he has to listen to it in his ear the whole time. In the earbuds. It's like, man alive. You realize that we're he literally blows this dancing with Nick on? in his mind. He like blows up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Are we ready yet? Welcome to DV Live. Hello and happy Tuesday, even though it feels like a Monday. It, it, I'm feeling very, it, it's funny, but you know, it, it, I'm feeling spacious in here all of a sudden. Is it just because there's only one of them in here? I think so, and there's only us in here, and there's no popcorn. And there's no popcorn? Okay. Sad. Well, welcome to, uh, <laughs> to DV Live. We're, I don't know, are we organized today or not? Um, today's the Monday is Tuesday. Yeah. Ever. And that's yeah. being very polite today. So the nice thing about DV Live, we set up on the Tuesday so that we had leeway. You know, whatever happened, you know, during the weekend that had to get fixed, we had that opportunity. That just doesn't feel like that's what's happened today. today. That went out the window. <laughs> We're on a learning curve today, everybody. So um, we had a, <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it. We were getting a lot of work done on the IT side yesterday, or we, thought we were and uh that all that all came to an abrupt end at about midnight last night so (laughs) yeah it's been about 48 hours of interesting so welcome to uh this week's dv live where we're going to randomly talk about the stuff that's frustrating us and not the topic at hand you guys are our therapy session today feel free to like comment any of your like essential oils some (laughs) Usas. <laughs> 30 minutes of us complaining about stuff that we have no control over. Once again, everybody, we are real people, and we're here to keep things real. Yeah, and I mean, and I, and I, said, I was telling Amanda today, I said, if I have to give the BCC one more time, you know. Oh. I, uh, so, so for those of you who are out there and you want to know, the BCC is the big Cadillac caper. <laughs> Um, that's what we're renaming it because um, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Muppet, the, the great Muppet caper. The great Muppet caper. So we, we're calling it the, the, the big catalytic caper. Um, Let me I, tell you, this morning, um, Eric kind of sounded like he was test driving for Fast and Furious when yeah. he started his vehicle. Fast and Furious, <laughs> the element version. Um, but uh, if you're anybody out there who happens to know what happened, um, you know, uh, we feel very secure on our property. We got great cameras. Uh, for those you can of you, scroll down a few posts and see exactly what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, anybody who's who's not quite picked up on the idea that uh, a financial institution might have cameras, just reiterating, there's 48 cameras on the property. Uh, we I know can, if you're picking your nose. We literally see you when you drive in. We see you when you drive out. We see you when you leave your car. We see you when you walk in. And it's not That's for everyone's safety and security, not just mm-hmm. ours, but yours too. And so... Um, I, I, some people don't know that. Let's just let's just say this goes into the stupid criminal. You know, one of the, I'm waiting for the stupid criminal segment. You know, uh, but it's yeah. only because the criminal didn't think that. Um, Maybe we could recap that at the end of the year. Yeah, we could the, the, with scams. <laughs> but uh, why not to target a financial institution parking lot is the uh, message. So. Fun times. Fun times. So what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about our real program. Oh, geez. I I got to use my brain now again. I gave him some notes on here. Yeah, we've got... Reels Reels is such a great program. We've now been doing it for two years. I just wish I could get the... So for people that don't know, members, viewers watching, Real is our residential energy efficiency loan Uh, Yeah, right, right. Residential energy efficiency lending. Lending. Uh, because yeah. it's, a, it's a state of California program. Mm-hmm. Um, and what I was going to say is I, I wish I could get, and if anybody's out there listening to this, share, tell your friends. Um, Real is, is uh, when you hear everything we're going to tell you about this, this is one of the coolest programs um, out there, but yeah. it's really being underutilized because it's a, it's a great opportunity for people to do home improvements mm-hmm. or energy energy efficient home improvements without having to go through the lean process which is which is really yep. the uh the big you know it has a lot of benefits it's compared the, it's to like the a catalytic signature. converter of the vehicle um <laughs> <laughs> it is it so is. The, the, the and fa- there's only eight lenders within yeah. our area that yeah, i looked we at we were one of the first uh four pilot uh lenders mm-hmm. And we 
we got into it not because we've uh, everyone thinks that we introduce programs or stuff like that because there's such this wild demand and this is one of those where we introduced it because we think that uh, the rich crest community is a, a very unique fit for this program i mean air conditioning well it's air con- <laughs> so so real, and we'll talk about products here in yeah a and it's it's understanding what real is is real is a state sponsored program that says quite simply, we're going to incentivize you, the financial institution, to offer a lower rate. And and real loans started as low as five percent um, without a lien for up to five years. Now, is that based on your credit score? Your history it has with a flowing tier based okay. on the time of the term that you're looking to seek because we do five, ten, and fifteen year terms, and then your credit score. So it's a floater based on what. Okay how much you're doing well that's nice it's not just boxed in it's not just boxed in and it has and so we can manage the payment but what they're doing is they're essentially giving us um in order to mitigate our risk and bring the rate down they're giving us an advantage to do that okay well the advantage to the consumer is that we're not asking for the property tax lien like the pace program did and we're also not treating it like a first or second trustee mortgage on your property So there's no restrictions in terms of if you've improved the property to be able to resell the property, to be able to transfer the property, or to refinance the property, um, you're actually making property improvements and it's being treated like that rather than like a a collateralized lien. That's kind of interesting. It's the real key element to why it's kind of unique, like Desert Valleys in the credit union world. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, the unique thing is that what if you if you said um, Amanda has a house, right? And Amanda has a <laughs> has a swamp cooler, right? Right. Well, your swamp cooler dies. It's, you can probably replace the swamp cooler for about three grand, right? Which Out is of not, a, not yeah. a huge amount of money, but it's but it, that's a, that can be a hit. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go into a larger home where you're running a dual pack or AC, uh, a, a, a dual pack, a swamp, a swamp and AC. Well, you get into an AC unit and you can suddenly be in the seven, eight, nine thousand dollars range. Um, yeah, I had a family member that just went through it last summer. I was like, Ooh. yeah, and Ooh. and then apply the idea that what they do is obviously the lower the price, right? The mm-hmm. less energy efficient, right? Because if you're paying for it, you're paying for that energy efficiency as it goes. In a sense, it's kind of like here's an organic apple versus a regular apple. Right. Think of what it that way. What are you going to pay more? How, for? how many people shop for a refrigerator and why it's got the energy saver label on the side of it, right? It right. tells you, okay, if I get the $250 refrigerator, it's going to cost me more in an electrical bill, but I only have to put $250 out of my pocket today. Whereas the Maytag blue line is going to actually use less energy. Give me all these features, but it cost me $1,000. Exactly. So do you want to save money now or in the long run? Right. And what we found is that people were not purchasing the energy-efficient units. Really? Okay. Because, again, and it, in some cases, and some of the, dis, the, the disenfranchisement came from the access to credit. Because if Amanda didn't have Wanaline or didn't have this type of program, and let's just say she had a $12,000 unit bill for an ac and if i had like a <coughs> 580 credit score well <laughs> if you have a 580 credit score you who please come into the credit union we'll be happy to sit down show you some tricks some tools secure checking education, education and opportunity to make that improvement um because this conversation probably isn't really strongly for you <laughs> Um, the hard part is that you have to have a certain credit level. I believe we're, we drop down to, uh, oh, well, we actually do drop down to 580, don't we? Mm-hmm. I'd have to go down. I'd have to look mm-hmm. at the program. As um, of today. Yeah, but, but, but that, but it's on a shorter term. We don't do the longer terms, the dollar amounts. There's, there's other restrictions. There was definitely a lot of terms, which. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of terms. If of you have interest, please call us, right, make call an appointment. Us and talk to us. There's a lot out there's, there. There's, there's a lot of details in that. But the key being is that the idea is that you have middle of the road families. Our target yeah. is not uh, the higher end or the lower end of the spectrum. It's really the middle of the road spectrum that you have families that have homes that have units on them that they're going to spend two three thousand dollars in repairing a 10 year or 15 year old ac unit 
when that unit's efficiency relative to the modern unit is so dramatically different. It's going to cost. It's going to cost us as a state in, term of, in terms of energy resources more over the long run rather than giving them an incentive to replace the unit. Right. Especially in the times where right now everything's going green. Right. Going and, for efficiency. Right. And then we multiply that amongst the other products that are, that are part of it. You know, so real covers everything in the energy efficiency world, but solar. And is that a hard no or just no right it's now? It's a hard no right now. Okay. It's something that I think us as lenders talking to the state and the managers of the program, which is uh, the uh, California um, CAFTRA, C-A-F. Um, I know it's Go Green now. It's it's it it's just went through a name change. Yeah, Go Green. Fine. It's it's division number one thousand one hundred twenty two of the state's five thousand seven hundred seventy seven departments. Um, Eric th- is always going to be my phone a friend on who wants to be a millionaire. Yeah, no no no, uh, no sarcasm in that statement. Um, but the fact is that it's um, what it is is they are trying to find a way to get as many of these energy pieces in place in residential homes because. It reduces the net overall energy need of, of the state. The state. Okay. Okay. So it's the overall effect. Yeah. So what's included? Well, HVAC obviously is one of the big ones. Um, I saw pool pumps today. Pool pumps, appliances. Yeah, that one caught me off guard. Water heaters, cool roofs, which anybody who in this town is needing to go through a, a roof repair. If you're not talking about the reflective roofing, you're losing out on a Yeah, if you guys don't know what a cool roof is, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, I mean, imagine basically turning the underbelly of the home of the roof, you know. You have you have shingles or tile depending on what you're putting in. Mm-hmm. But the under the underscaling, the the the, 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 la- the, the layer. layers turning them into reflect rather than than absorption well imagine that you know like if you put um okay how many of us have uh, uh car shades it's yep. the same theory the window shades the window shades yep. it's the same theory why do you have a big reflective uh um, window shade on and you that's so drop the that temperature. as the heat's hitting it <laughs> the heat is being reflected off rather than being absorbed in Right. It's still going to get warm, right? You can't prevent a certain amount of the energy transfer. Never going to be 68 in your car in the middle Never. of July. Never. But you can reflect it from being from being 95. It reaches a, some ambient reflection temperature mm-hmm. where the, the total amount of other heat that's being applied radiates out. So that's just applying it to the whole roof of the house. And so then, in theory, as you start at the roof of the house, then you hit the insulation of the house, then you hit the attic insulation, and you eventually get into then your your individual rooms, and by then you've actually deflected, okay, majority, yeah, a, a, a substantial majority of the heat away, and therefore your cooling, your internal cooling is much more efficient. And this hence imp- the energy efficiency. Hence energy efficiency, and and you know uh, windows, mm-hmm. uh, going to dual panes versus single panes, uh, insulated garage doors. Oh. And, and you'd say, why is that? Why, why insulated garage doors? Well, because again, even though it's an exterior feature, what does it absorb? It it brings in heat. It brings in heat, and that heat absorbs naturally through walls, insulation, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. In it, and and then you have um, so it, it, the key is that it's energy efficiency lending. So is this only for home buyers? Um, it's or- for it's it's for home it's for property owners. Okay. Okay. So we can do some limited commercial. Um, it's not treated like a commercial, but uh, rental properties, where okay. you're the individual owner, you have a rental home. Um, as long as you're the property owner, we can do s- things like that. Where or if I'm the renter, I can go to the not property the renter. O- I could go you to the, the property, property owner. owner. Okay. Be like, hey, I heard about this super cool yeah, program. Yeah, the property owner can choose to take out the loan and invest in the property. Okay. But a perfect example is, let's say you're a pro- you're a renter of a property, and the HVAC goes out, right? Right. Well, you're picking up the phone and you're calling the property owner, right? You're not replacing the HVAC unit. Hopefully not. 
But if you can go to that property owner with, hey, here's a way we can upgrade the unit in order to reduce my energy bill and your longevity bill and get you a better value in terms of cost. And get this handled now versus later. Win -win. Yeah. Um, I, and I still think the best part about it is the windows. I think the windows, I think for us out here, the cool roof and the HVAC are the most popular products. And Absolutely. I think Especially coming into <coughs> days like today where it's 105 out. Yeah. So. Honestly, it felt like it was like, I mean, I know it was warm, but I didn't feel like it was 105. I was like, well, welcome back to Ridgecrest. So Eric and I had a fun <laughs> adventure a couple times outside today. Yeah, we, we, we awesome <laughs> flagpoles. Um, but the Windows aspect of the program is really cool because what I like to say is, is imagine that you have an older home. Okay. Okay. And in this community, that's There's not, tracks. Yeah. That's not unusual. We're talking not 50 years old, but maybe. But the 70s 40s, or. 40, yeah. to 40, to 40 to 60 years old, somewhere in that, mm -hmm. that range. Well, those homes weren't built with, with they were built all with single plane single pane glass and going green was not in the yeah, plan green wasn't part of the the mindset or anything of that nature um where and you have um another project to do let's just say kitchen cabinets right yep this is where the program really turns the corner between being is this the 70 30 yeah this is the 70 30 be between being cool and being uh, really both, cool. Both efficient for the borrower as well as efficient for the project. Okay. Um, so the 70-30 is, is kind of simple. You only have to have 70% of your total loan balance be on qualified EEMs or qualified energy efficiency measures. And that's the approved products we just talked about. HVAC, Absolutely. Um, windows, insulation. Right. Cool roof. Cool roof. So let's just say that you have a... Uh, home that needs <coughs> a uh, $14,000 HVAC unit. Okay. I know for some of you might be going, that's <laughs> not um, unusual. Um, go check out the price of a steak today and then tell me why you're, you're shocked. Oh at the my price. goodness. Okay. So we said a $14,000 HVAC unit, right? Yep. Well, here's the cool thing is we would rather than just giving you the $14,000 loan, We'd rather give you a twenty thousand dollar loan. Okay. And you say, well, what's the why? Because here's what's cool is you can apply for thirty percent of the loan balance to be used for any other project within the home of your selection, regardless of its energy efficiency. But as long as it's an upgrade. <coughs> as long as it's an improvement to the property. Okay. So perfect example is I need new carpet. I also need a new HVAC. Okay. I can get a loan that covers both of them at the lower rate. The 14 goes to the HVAC. I have six <coughs> left That's over 70%. for the flooring. And 6,000 left over for flooring. Now, 6,000, that could maybe be flooring. It could be cabinets. It can be countertops. It can be okay. um, insul I I insulation probably would be covered. Under the 70. Yeah. But there's lots of little projects that people have in their homes that – if I'm going to be doing a home improvement project of the size or scale of an HVAC or a cool roof or something of that nature, this gives them the ability to be able to do more than just that single project, which which doesn't provide sometimes the same tenable value, right? Mm -hmm. When you redo a kitchen, you actually improve the uh, appreciation of the property pretty dramatically. It goes up. Well, you could redo the HVAC, and the total appreciation proper on the property is probably... And then it's level, but adding in the, but I added cabinets and that, and I got this. Yep. And that's the fact is, is people don't go walking around going, Hey, how old is the HVAC? Oh, uh, not, I better knock 20,000 off the price for that. Right. That's not what's happening. People, people look at the cabinets. They look at the buy floor on, buy the, they buy the pretty, the pretty things, the shiny. Yeah. So with that, do I have to have a licensed contractor or can I kind of like DIY myself? Well, that actually depends on what it is. So for any of the energy efficiency measures, you have to have a, a, a real approved contractor. Now, in the local area, we've got about eight of them already. Oh, okay. Um, we started with one. They've grown. Um, and we've worked and have relationships with them in different 
That's from roofers to HVACers to windowers to GCs. So I can't be like, my friend over here, Bob, owns a company. He's licensed, but he's not approved with real. Right. Okay. However, Bob can certainly go through the process of getting approved. Okay. Which, if he's which a, is if win-win. He's, if he's a licensed general contractor. Good for him. Good for the community. Um, and the second half is that you can certainly go to Bob to do the cabinets. Okay. For the other 30. As I said. The energy efficiency measures must be completed by an approved real contractor. Okay. All the anything else that's done to the property under the under that loan can be done by that's between you and the contractor, not in the same way. Now we obviously encourage to use licensed general contractor in all circumstances. You don't want to see Amanda wielding Please a hammer. Don't get into a DIY. There's, uh, <laughs> you, you, if you're going to do a DIY, understand that we're not going to give you the money to do your DIY until you're done with it. Right. It's a real important piece of fact. Okay. Um, Why is that? Let's well, just go and into the, it. And, and the simple reason is because the loan doesn't fund until the job is completed. Completed. Mm-hmm. Well, if you're doing a $20,000 loan, 14000 is EEMs, right? That contractor finishes his work. He's got 14000 owed to him. Okay. And Bob, your your buddy who's doing your cabinets, has oh I forgot to place the order. I'll get to it next week. He's him hawing, and you're well, my friend, so you get the buddy. Well, guess what? Him over here, he ain't getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> well, that worked too well for too long. Um. So we just encourage you to use a general contractor. Be open and 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 do do what your plan is from day one. And that's one of the, that's kind of the biggest sticking point that some people have is, well, what do you mean? You don't just write me a check and then I go out and, no, no, you have to. It's a little bit different from a, a traditional. It's a little bit different from a traditional, here's a check, go do what you want. Mm-hmm. You have to, we have to ensure that the energy efficiency measures were completed. Right. We have to have certification of it because we submit all that to the state in order to. Um, well, it's state funded. <laughs> it's a state funded program and that's how we get the. That's how the credit union benefits from the state funding part of it. Okay. Um, and so it's, it's not, I would say, it's a very easy process. Um, we've done, I think, 30 or so of these loans over the last two years, and I, and I have yet to meet wow. anybody who's, who's ever been disappointed by one. Um, but the fact is that it takes a little bit of time, mm-hmm. and it takes communication. Now, remember, all these contractors, they all know this. They all know that they don't get paid until the end. All they're looking to hear is that they've got the approval. They're lined up with with Desert Valleys as the financer. All those things. That's what they're looking for. They're making sure everything's checked off, and then right. They're looking for the the check marks, not the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you throw a big cog in the wheel, like I'm DIYing it, and, and I haven't gotten my <laughs> Etsy order yet for my my special drapes that I'm going to. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Do your yeah you know. You give your you need to be getting your work done. Let me tell you, there's some things I like to throw the money at. <laughs> Putting in cabinets is definitely something I would do. Yeah, yeah here, I'm not doing it. <laughs> nope. Uh, just solve the problem. Then yeah, here's the check. Solve the problem. And even then, you're typically going to have a conversation with the contractor that they understand. Now, does the contractor come in and meet with you also? So we've can met I with, bring them in? Yeah, we've met with most of them. Okay. So we've already got a pretty good. Rapport. Lay of the land, right? Mm-hmm. And then what a lot of times is is the advantage of going with a GC contractor is they'll sub out the individual pieces. So, like, if you went with a uh, GC contractor that was going to do your roof, HVAC, windows. I mean, we've done $50,000 projects of these these natures wow. where the person comes in and they've done, you know, temperature control on. Like on, the little Google Nest. Uh, yep. They've done temperature control. They've done cool roof, dual panes new HVAC, mm-hmm. and they've done it at the same time that they are doing, you know, a, you know, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 solar project at the same time and on the other side, and they end up with a net, you know, a net zero project, but that's... I mean, that makes sense. We have a little bit of things like that going on around here at Desert Valleys. Yeah, we're, we're working towards it. We're, we haven't done the efficiency on the roofing or, or the uh, the attic spaces yet. It just makes sense. I'll take it down. Um, <laughs> To like, if you're going to be doing a big project, yeah, that you can do. How more do than, you and you can make do it more co- than just one thing? Okay. Um, and that's where I think real just it, real is one of those projects is just 
not, um, we've tried to explain it to people, but it, the best thing I can tell you is <coughs> come in and talk to, Adrian's our primary coordinator for the real program. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, just come in and talk to us about what it is you're looking to do. And you might, we might be able to plug this program perfectly in for you. And then the second half is if you are out there and you are getting ready to go through the process of preparing a home for sale. Uh -huh. um, guys, I can't tell you enough <laughs> what a great product this is. If you know that you're going to put the house on the market and you want, and, and you know that these are liabilities such as HVAC windows, uh, you know, something that's going to clean up beautification cabinets. Uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, you know, think about those types of things because they do greatly improve the, the property value prior to sale. I mean, it's, it's a simple fact. And especially if someone's going to be looking to buy, you know, that's typically a long term. Yeah, you're and creating better value. If it's already done, I want to invest in that. I don't have to. Correct. Upon buying the house. Correct. <laughs> you get, you walk around and you know, you know, okay, this is going to take another 30 grand. And let me go that next step and throw it on the flip side, which is, You've just purchased a home, mm -hmm. and you know it needs X number of upgrades. Come in and give us a chance to talk about what the real program can do in terms of giving you the flexibility to do those upgrades. Okay. You know, perfect I mean, example, somebody's just bought a, you know, three-bedroom, one-bath, small. But you they know, knew it was a fixer-upper going in. 150000 home, but they knew that they needed these things, you know, can we find a way to help with some of those things? And and you might say, well, well, the HVAC only is going to be 6000 so I can't do anything on the other side. Well, what else does the property need? Mm -hmm. Have you checked the ducting? Have you checked the insulation conditions? Have you looked at the windows? Have you looked at... Did it come with appliances? Does it have that? <laughs> yeah. well, my grandma's like pea how old green is, double... How old is the water heater? You know, mm -hmm. um, Things yeah. that you don't typically, like I said, look at when you you're walking through a house. Yeah, and 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 that's why I said that's why I gave that comparison the yellow slip. Mm -hmm. We all see them, right? Oh yeah, we always see it on there. Has the weird Do digital we pay numbers. Attention to it? No, not at all. I want to know how shiny it is. No, I want the price and price. How much bubble water does it fit on one that, shelf? That's how people can. Uh, yeah. How, it, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> on the fridge, but literally, when you go to a water heater, you'll see those same. But it's usually our brain is trained to, well, how big of one do I need, or how much? How yeah. much they, and 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 we fail to see what the energy value is, mm -hmm. and compare that yeah. part of it. Yep, we're just comparing dollars. I'm correct, and oh. and we do that across the board in terms of conservation. I mean, uh, and. Uh, just a little memo. Energy and water are commodities, and they are charged accordingly. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? They are commodities. This is a newsflash <laughs> to me. <laughs> yeah, I got news for you. That, and their price is going up. Oh, yeah. Wow. And that's, uh, yeah, that's a whole other conversation that we could have about... Um, just understanding the inflationary co concerns that are going on, some of the economics. I'm not an economics person, but I would say that this is probably <coughs> well overdue. Well, and I mean, it's not like it's going to go down dramatically no, anytime. No, no, just yeah. it, but monetary policy tells you that that the amount of cash that's been pumped in the system just over the last 12 months, but then really you go back to from 2009 to the what the what the um, the interest value is, mm -hmm. uh, the 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 monetary value of cash as an investment, as a as a purchasing power, it's um, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's just very interesting. It's it's a very interesting economic, economic period, and and anytime you have a, what people define as very interesting economic periods, I would point you out to the housing crash of two thousand and eight. There oh. is always a um, Fallout. Fallout. <laughs> always. Uh, there is always a fallout. So, well, awesome. I mean, it sounds like the program has a bunch of additional benefits to everyone, both sides of the coin, purchasers, sellers, yeah. everything. I, I just think it, I think it's one of those programs that that's designed very well when mm -hmm. it's put to its correct purpose. Okay. And, and I and that's why I say if somebody says. 
oh, well, can I? Yeah, am I I'm, and I'm in more of a kiddie mood because we're in the last few minutes. We've covered most of the big stuff, so now I can be my. We check my the sass. boxes. You know, <laughs> if somebody comes and says, "Hey, I want to do an HVAC and I want five thousand dollars in debt consolidation," no, that's <laughs> not the purpose of the loan. That part, okay, that one <laughs> would have happened, um, and and that's not the purpose of the loan. We know I don't crunch numbers around here, and I'd uh, still be like red flag. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I, 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 can I can I get new windows and an, and a uh, and a video game system and uh, with no? Can I get a cool roof yeah. as well as this brand new Tahoe? Yeah, it, they, <laughs> they don't match, and that's where we, you know, what's your purpose? Mm-hmm. Um, and the best thing that I'll say is is. One of the things that about real that I think just doesn't get expressed properly enough is the idea that we shop based on our budgets, right? Right. Which is good fiscal policy. If we ever see above our limit, we kind of just we ignore automatically it. ignore it. Mm-hmm. Real puts within the consumer's reach the option to be energy efficient. Okay, so they can really, look at other options. That's the real good think of way of way to look at what the what the program can do for members or for consumers out there is mm-hmm. it engages your ability to not just shop within what is good your good fiscal budget means, but what is good long term investment means, which I think is good budget wise. Right, it is, but, 100%. but but we automatically dismiss it. Oh yeah, if it's out of that reach that that we feel like we can reach for. Mm-hmm. Um, and Desert Valley's has tried to do that. We tried to do that with Driving Sense too. That was a very similar mindset of trying to do that. And uh, I'm sorry to say that program will be coming to an end. Uh, uh, I think September 30th will be the end of that program. And that's just simply it didn't it didn't fly with the the, the members, and that's unfortunate. Um, I can tell you, you know, while we're talking about housing things, you know, for those of you that that missed the memo that we've been doing it. Um, you know, we do have a full first mortgage um, program available. Um, our focus is on refinance and, and in terms of uh, our in-house products, but we have a out uh, outhouse. Uh, <laughs> um, we don't have an off-site. Outhouse. We do um, not <laughs> third-party um, uh, relationship for FHAs and VAs and, and some of the other so like first time first time buyer programs mm-hmm. and those things which we can't support but what but we can certainly be a trusted partner throughout the whole process for for the members okay. um and the second is that we're we're in the final process of uh putting together a home equity uh, line and of credit product um a new equity, HELOC a so HELOC if anyone second, knows that yeah. HELOC and second trustee program that we hope to launch in July um I certainly hope to be able to say at Member Movie Night that we've got it uh, up and running. Don't forget, guys, July twentieth. July twentieth, Member Movie Night. Um, but it's it, it's we're looking at these needs. We know that there's a need in the community. We understand that Real doesn't cover solar, and that's where a lot of people mm-hmm. go. Well, if it did solar, I'd do. It. Well, what other upgrades are you let, looking at? What? Uh, why are you? If you're thinking about solar, what are the other things that you're looking to do? Because if all you're trying to do is just reduce your bill, then you're really only touching half the surface. And this is what we're trying to tell you is look at the look at the complete package of what you're trying to do. Because how is solar going to fix the fact that you have cool air just running out of yeah. a single pane window? Yeah, it's not going to change. Yeah. You know, just because you, you – and, and the I'll be talking about our project. Wow. A, a, a great opportunity. <laughs> um, and I promise not to go too long today. But uh, for those of you who don't know – um, Desert Valley's. <laughs> sorry, I'm, we're always I, having a project. I just had the joke that went through my head, which is, <laughs> if you ever actually get a chance to sit down and talk to a member of my staff or something like that, they will tell <laughs> you there is no such thing as as we finally finished the last project. It is there's a, not a slow day. There is there is just moving to the next project, and if it looks like we're coming to the end, we'll just add more projects to what we're trying to do. And uh, so one of those right now is the uh, energy efficiency of our overall property. And, and that's going to result in uh, some upgrades probably in September, October this year. Very big upgrades that you so, will notice. Yeah. Well, the, the, <laughs> we've been able to minimize the footprint of it. And that's what I was going to talk about mm-hmm. is, is, is we had um, 
we're going to install solar on the property and as well as two uh, EV uh, vehicle charging stations uh, on the yeah. front for electronic ve- for electrical vehicles. And, and that is because, guys, it, no matter how you've, whatever your opinion is on EV vehicles, you are, you are entitled to your right and your opinion, and I might even share in it. But the fact is that EV vehicles are going to become a substantial part of our vehicle fleet population. They're going to be a norm. They're going to be a norm within a decade, and I want Desert Valleys to be there for you as a member now mm-hmm. in terms of providing EV financing and finding ways for you to use the right mindset. This is about driving a, a community mindset. Mm-hmm. I would love for um, my EV people that, hey, I got to stop by the credit union. I know I can park and charge for, you know. While I'm opening while I'm my opening real. Account, while I'm doing my real loan or while, <laughs> you know, just I, I have to run in for five minutes and I chose to charge it for five minutes mm-hmm. <coughs> or topped it off just to get home or whatever the case may be. Or travelers coming through. Yeah, or, and then the travelers come through. But at the end of the day, it's a messaging for us. And so the story goes that we did our evaluation and we came up with about 92 kilowatt hours needed. Yep. And um, we went through our first monthly cycle where we dropped, um, we put some substantial uh, environmental controls inside the building. As to, far as HVAC and lighting. Yeah, as far as HVAC like, to control t- mm-hmm. timing. Um, <laughs> uh the boss doesn't like it warm here at night, so he might turn it on. But for the most part, you know, at night times, our building isn't occupied. And one of the problems that we've discovered in our inefficiencies was cooling, cooling the building, an empty building, an empty building at night. Mm-hmm. And so we did that change in just in the first month. And this is not before we even hit the peak seasons, right? This is still springtime. Yeah, we saw about a 30 kilowatt reduction just by using mm-hmm. environmental controls and that let us cut the project size down so it has a much smaller input. So the EV charging station will be covered parking, but there'll be a covered handicap parking spot, there'll be a regular covered parking spot and there'll be two EV covered parking spots on the front of our building, but everything else solar base can go somewhere else. Something that's <coughs> not as <coughs> On the roof and that, invasive, so it's not going to be invasive. Intrusive. Yeah. And then the second half is that we'll be um, we'll be 100% uh, disaster. Uh, well, not 100%, but we'll be we're going to be a lot more disaster ready. Um, Functional. Yeah. The quakes. Te- the, the, the quakes taught us things, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 you know, hats off to SE and everything else and all the work that they did. But I got to, I got to sit into. Um, a, I believe it's ECS, uh, if I remember that wrong. It's an emergency services uh, committee at the city side okay. with my other hat on. And they, one of the things that they mentioned was, you know, if there's a, uh, a, a significant earthquake to the San Bernardino area, the um, Los San Angeles Andreas. area. <laughs> well, no, the, and, and the here is that here's what happens is if you have a grid outage there, mm-hmm. right? And let's just assume that there's that that grid outage travels up to us at the same time. Okay. Who's being dealt with first? They are. They are. Not us. Not us. We would be. I mean, when it hit Ridgecrest, we were. We're going to be <coughs> low man on the total. Yeah, we were the center of the world. But if it had hit elsewhere and had an effect on Ridgecrest, we we're not. We are not scalable in that that mindset. Right. Um. And I don't know that that would ever happen in that way, and I'm not trying to sound like a bad person, but what it made me aware of is I want to make sure that we have enough power on board to ensure that our members have access to cash and access to our mobile branch and access to things. Right. Um, and I might not be able to turn on the air conditioner. I might not be able to staff the building. I might not be able to. But in that sense, like the quakes, there were two times that I could not use my debit card somewhere because they were having issues. Right. I had access to coming here to the mobile branch, grab cash, go. Yeah, and and, our, and, our, and we're hoping to keep the physical ATMs up front running as well. Mm-hmm. Is, you know, how can we... I would assume no one's coming during a natural disaster in to, you know, talk about a car loan they're or probably a real not. loan. But, but, so. they, but you know what, they're, but it's also, um, it's extraordinarily reassuring to know that your financial institution is thinking about what your 
needs yep. are in a disaster scenario, and that, especially after what we experience as a community. That's the message I'm really trying to get out to the membership is, hey, we're not doing this just solely because, you know, we're trying to save on energy, but we're, we've are we been real strategic about it. We want yes. to save on energy, but more importantly, we also want to make sure that in the event of a disaster, we are going to be there for our members. Um, to take off one less stress. Yeah, you, there's, there's just, there's already a stressful situation. I think we did it with spades in 19. <laughs> um, and I think we could do an even better job of it, so. Well, thanks for being <clears throat> here today. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was fun chit chatting about solar. Now let uh, <laughs> we had uh, a real adult conversation. God, what else is going on around here? Um, if you haven't seen, welcome. Uh, come on by and say hello to uh, Taylor Cupertino. We yes. have a new employee that joined us uh, last week. Mm-hmm. Um, if you notice that half everyone's gone, that's because you know people love Memorial Day vacations. Um, what else has been going on here? Things are going to get really patriotic this week in here. Things are get patriotic. Stars is coming Stars back. Stars is coming. Um, um, the July 4th celebration is pushing forward, and we'll be there. Yes. Uh, at, at the fairgrounds. The fairgrounds on July 3rd. Yep. Um, for those of you who don't remember coming out in 19, you know, the mobile branch will be out there. We'll be, we'll be smiling and... Uh, Keep an I, eye out for some fun when it Wednesdays tying yeah, into that this month. We'll be tying a bunch of that stuff in, and it's been... Uh, it's been busier than snot, but it's a it's been fantastic. The credit union's doing real. Oh, the annual report, and everyone should have gotten a. Everyone should <clears throat> check your mailboxes. Check should have got the annual report. Mailbox. I know as uh, of yesterday. No, today. Yeah, a lot of them hit the today. day. Um, and mm-hmm. and they're we're real proud of our our report, but more importantly is, uh, I encourage the members to take pride in it because remember we're a member based organization. So. Oh yeah. Um, you know, when we do well, it, it's it's on the backs of what our members have been able to help us with. Because so. it's not just our numbers, it's the whole memberships. Yeah, it's all memberships. So all membership. It's, uh, I'll say that, I think it's been very exciting, busier than snot. Popcorn Fridays happened last Popcorn Friday. Popcorn Fridays last uh, Friday, even Saucarella already. Oh, um, how was it? It was, it, I, it was, it was, it was <laughs> devil, it was Devil Wears Prada D- Disney. Interesting. Now that's, this one was rated PG thirteen, right? Yeah, that's how I got to call it. Devil, uh, the Devil Wears Prada PG, because every time Emma Thompson came on screen, I was waiting to see Glenn Close. Emma Stone. Or, uh, uh, no, Emma um, Stone. No, no, no. Um, oh gosh. Do, 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 She's been nominated do, for too do, many Academy do, Awards. Do, do. <laughs> Let's just. We're gonna. It starts with an M. I haven't done my research on this. Um, I watched a lot of 101 Dalmatians last week. <laughs> um, why am I saying Glenn Close? on Because Glenn Close is coming from 101 Dalmatians. Oh, no, you're Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson is you Corella. Were correct. No, 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 it's Emma Thompson. Oh, no, I Emma imagining. Stone. No, no, it's, I, Devil Wears Prada is... Um, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, thank you. That's why. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Every time you see Emma Thompson, you're thinking, I'm waiting to see Meryl Streep. That, that's why I said all... Devil Wears Prada with okay. Disney spin on it. Hmm. But, interesting. Um, yeah, it was, it was interesting. It was, I would call it, it was, it was, yeah. you know, bring on, bring on, bring me on some summer movies. I'm ready for summer movies. I'm ready for maybe my own vacation to some DCA for Avengers Land. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but. I think everyone's getting a little little vacation in before we get to in the summer season. So, I already had mine. <laughs> yeah, we're coming. So, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning Take in care. today. And, and if you uh, have DB any live city talk is coming up next, and I won't be here again. Yeah, I'm sick of seeing Eric on they there. Keep throwing me out because uh, apparently city talk is 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 not just my city talk. No, I wanted to talk with Narissa today. No, I, Narissa's fantastic. And actually, summer's here. Things are opening up. There's activities. Just uh, anybody who sends a comment, tell her so you know, make the pool happen. And trust me, she'll laugh. She, that's 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 the message I keep sending. So, outside we'll that, um, take care. Thanks for being here, and uh, we'll see you in two weeks. Bye, guys.